A GDC sneak peek into Unreal Engine 5.4 appeared on YouTube last week. Some intriguing tools and comments. They mentioned uh, rendering is about twice the speed of Unreal 5.0. How feasible is it for a dev to update an already released game to 5.4, fix snags and republish with those improvements? Would that be days of work or weeks? And how much impact would halving the rendering time specifically have on frame rates or pacing when those also depend on ray tracing, DLSS and all sorts of other inputs? So I put this one down here, Alex, because you've literally just done a video on Unreal <laughs> Engine 5.4 and you right. did actually recompile a 5.0 project, the city sample demo, onto 5.4 and you reaped the benefits of the various yes. enhancements that 5.4 brought to the table. So... Does that scale up to a game um, or is it more tricky? I suspect it's more tricky. It is indeed trickier than that. And a good example of that is just two weeks ago when I had on my PC, I compiled 5.4 for myself as the engine on my PC, but the uh, still the city sample, essentially the large art code depository that you can download it wasn't compiling right for 5.4 if you tried to open the project up in 5.4. It had a lot of uh, conflicts, it had a lot of plugins that didn't work. And so I couldn't finish off my initial video project idea of looking at 5.4 until, because I would have to spend a lot of time like looking through and seeing what the conflicts are. And I don't have time to do that as just like a normal person trying to make a one week video. Uh, the thing is it took it took a lot of probably working hours behind the scene from Epic's side to prep the uh, the city sample project to be working in Unreal Engine 5.4. Right. Uh, and they updated it and you can download it now and it compiles completely fine as a project for 5.4 if you use their system for it. For a larger project uh, that has people already working on it and maybe even has more specific things that are not Unreal in it, like custom things, the merging to make it work could even be more labor intensive than that. Uh, then also you have to think about the fact that you have to like recertify the game. Is it worth it? On consoles, like there's a lot and they have to do the whole publishing stuff again. You have to QA it again to make sure that there's a lot of stuff that's not broken. I don't think it's very reasonable, even though I'd love it from a performance perspective for people to do that for projects, especially like older UE5 stuff that we've seen. I've talked about a couple of them on the channel. Some of them have really rough aspects as a result of being earlier versions of UE5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, some projects will get updated, but you know, it's not a, sure. it's not a trivial undertaking, clearly.